Hi, everyone. Welcome to yoga. Um, okay, so I just got done teaching another class at the gym, and it inspired me um, to come and teach the same thing to you guys. Specifically because I had a lady come in and it was her first time ever in a yoga class and she was really sweet, but very, very, very nervous. And so it made me think about doing a bunch of heart openers and chest openers because that tends to like crack open a little bit of space of like self-acceptance and um, discovery and vulnerability and all of that. And so with my like, I don't know, I, I think that I think it was a really nice practice and I'd like to offer the same thing to you guys. So what that means is today we're gonna, we are gonna use blocks if you have them. If you don't, you don't, it's not a big deal. Um, but we will work with the sun salutation B variation, which is a, is a sun salutation that I don't teach a lot only because of my complete and utter disdain for chair pose. But sometimes we have to confront the stuff that we don't like. And um, the reward for that will be some of the bigger like back bends and chest openers, which will be beneficial for all of us because in this day and age, in these unprecedented times, we're spending a lot of time like this. And so I wanna give us the opportunity to do this, okay? So with that being said, just to build a little bit of heat, what we'll do is go on to the knees and set your blocks behind you so that you can perch up on them. Now, if you don't have blocks, you can also just sit with your butt right down on the ground. Like this is what I call Japanese style, or you can come all the way onto your butt and cross your legs. Okay. So there's a couple of variations and whichever one is the more comfortable, um, do that one by all means. I'm sitting on one block because uh, I'm working on ankle flexibility. So if you want to get a little bit deeper into your ankles, just sit on one block and then you'll feel the difference. And then bring your palms down to your thighs and just for a second, close the eyes and just kind of rub onto the top of your thighs. Give yourself a little bit of comfort. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> Let it go. Roll the shoulders up towards the ears and roll them back. Good. And then take the hands, interlace the fingers, flip the palms and roll the arms up. So we get into those anterior shoulder heads. And then as you inhale here, press the palms up towards the sky, shrug the shoulders up towards the ears, lengthen through the side body. And then exhale, just like a champagne cork, it's gonna be all right, and you have to make the sound effect, otherwise it doesn't work. So take the fingers, interlace them, inhale, take it up, and take it down. One more time, inhale, take it up, lengthen through the side bodies, reach, exhale, let it go. Roll the shoulders, one and the other, and one and the other, and move and shake and move and roll the shoulders up and back. Now the two at the same time, roll them up and back. Good, and then roll them the other way. Nice, and then head circles around and around and reverse it and go around and around. Sweet, now take your right fingertips, walk them back behind you and twist. Back of the left hand comes to the outer side of the right thigh, sit up nice and tall. This is just a simple twist. You'll just feel it right around the center of your back. See if you can look behind your right shoulder. Take a deep breath in, reach the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Good, now take it back to center. Once again, interlace fingers, flip the palms up towards the sky, deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then we twist to the left, right side, outside of the right hand, comes to the outside of the left thigh, left fingertips behind you, sit up nice and tall, and twist.
Good. Another deep breath in. Exhale, take it back to center. Last one, interlace fingers, roll the arms up. And exhale, let it go. All right, come off of the block. Set the block up towards the front of the mat. And then we're just gonna press up and back into downward dog. So just kind of moving right into it. Tuck the toes, lengthen the legs, press the femurs back towards the back of your space. Tilt hips up towards the sky. So point your butt right up towards the back ceiling. Into the hands, we press all 10 fingertips, heels of the hands, wrap the shoulders back, squeeze scapula together. Maybe you take the eyes and look up towards the belly button. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, come forward onto hands and knees into tabletop. Good. Inhale, dip the pelvis, lift the chin to the sky for cow pose. Exhale, round the back for cat. Inhale, pull it through, lift up. Exhale, round it down. One more time, inhale, take it up. And exhale, round it down. Once again, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. And we'll be here for three breaths. Really pressing into the hands, tensing up through the triceps, through the biceps, anchoring the heels down. Nice, long, slow exhales. Big, full inhales. Good, and now bend the knees. Come onto the tippy toes, look forward to the hands, and then step to the front of the mat. Nice, halfway lift when you get there. I'm reaching my hands back behind me these days just to remind myself to really lengthen and flatten. And then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, press into the feet, roll up to standing. So think about that like Frankenstein or like a zombie rising up taking the arms up nice and slowly. And then exhale, palms in towards the heart. Close the eyes, come to lift the heels, sink the weight into the balls of the feet, the big toes, all four of the additional toes on each foot. Good, and then lower the heels down, lift the toes, sink the weight into the heels. So just a little bit of that balance. And then rock forward, lifting and rock backwards lifting. So this is that practice of self-awareness, being just like acutely aware of what the body is doing. And when we block out one of the senses, so for example, now it would be the sense of sight, it becomes, you have to develop sense of body awareness to keep from falling down. Good, and then bring your feet all the way down to the mat, a little bit of buoyancy in the knees here, a little tuck of the tailbone. Inhale, take the arms up overhead and exhale, fold forward. Getting right into those lunges, inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, fold, stuff the left foot back. Keeping the back knee off the mat for this first round, inhale, take the arms all the way up overhead. And this time what I'm doing to get open is making a little steeple. So interlacing my fingers, making a little steeple with my pointer fingers, wrap shoulders back, press the heart forward, inhale, lift up and take a little back bend into it. Good. So nice, strong back leg, nice, strong front leg. Inhale one more time. Good. Exhale, take the hands down to the mat. Step back, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, slide forward, find a plank. Lower down to the belly. Inhale, take it up, cobra, and really exaggerate the heart coming forward here, pulling shoulder heads back. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Good, pedal the feet, shake the head. 
So I like to think of, I never say that downward facing dog is a resting pose because it's just not. But what it can be is a really good opportunity to like let go of any attachment to what you just did and prepare yourself to move into what you're about to do. Good, so from here, inhale, take left leg up. Exhale, step it forward, runner's lunge. Coming all the way up, high lunge. Once again, wrap shoulders back, make that little steeple. Inhale to lift the heart, lean back. Exhale, take the hands down, step forward, halfway lift, big breath in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll it back up to standing, arms come up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bowing forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, left foot steps back. Inhale, rising up, same thing. Pause here. Next breath in, brings you up and back, reaching backwards. So fingertips reach back behind you this time, heart forward. And then exhale, hands come down, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward, find that plank. Exhale to the belly. Top of the feet, press down, inhale, lift up, cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Good, pedal the feet, let that part go. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step it forward. Arms come up, high lunge. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, bring the fingertips down. Step left foot, sorry, right foot to meet left. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll up to standing, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good, so we'll do two more rounds like that, starting with the right foot this time. I'll change it up a little bit just for some variety. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, deep breath in. Exhale, fold, right foot steps back. We're gonna drop that back knee this time. Good, and then as you inhale, come up, lean back. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Now, heel toe that left foot slightly forward and then straighten the left leg as you come up onto the left heel. Walk the hands back. I should have said this before. If you have blocks, they come in really handy right here because then you're able to get this nice lift in your chest. So if you've got them, take your hands to the medium setting on either side of the left leg. Pull the left hip back in space, take a deep breath in. And exhale, bend the elbows, bow over the left leg. Good, so this is a half split. The pose in Sanskrit's really funny. It's called Hanumanasana, and this is Arda Hanumanasana. And Hanuman was this like weird monkey god. I'll show you a picture of him sometime. He's really funny. And he was a total spaz. And he would cause like in Hindu mythology, he would cause like all kinds of havoc and be like really ornery and uh, kind of a pain in the ass. So think about yourself in your little monkey form, just sliding back, take a deep breath in. Good, exhale, slide forward, bring the hands to frame the left foot, dip the hips down. Nice, set the blocks out of the way. Tuck the back toes, lift up, plant the palms, step it back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank, exhale to the belly. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, take it back. I said halfway lift, but I did a cobra and I bet you did too. All right, pedal the feet. Right leg rises, inhale, stretch it up and back. Exhale, step it forward. Drop the back knee down. Inhale, rise up, fingers clasp, pointer fingers point up, sink the hips, lean into it. Good. This is crescent moon lunge. So making that nice, beautiful little crescent moon shape with the chest, reaching arms back, deep breath in. Exhale, hands come down, blocks can come back into the equation. Scooch right foot forward, inhale, straighten the leg, lean back. Good, now from here, lift up, lengthen the heart. Exhale, bend the elbows, fold forward. Ardha Hanumanasana.
and nice. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, take the foot down, lunge it forward, drop the hips down low. Set the blocks up to the front of the mat, tuck the toes, lift the back knee, step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bring it all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good. One more round on this side. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot back. Drop the knee. Inhale, rising up, taking that crescent moon. Exhale, hands come down. This time, just inhale, slide it back for one breath. Deep breath in. Exhale, taking it back forward. Plant the palms, lift the back knee, step back, downward facing dog. So just moving a little bit faster. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, step it forward. Drop the back knee. Inhale, lift up, take that crescent moon. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, lengthen it back, half monkey. Step it forward, lift the back knee, front of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll it up to standing. Exhale, hands to the heart. Sweet, open up the feet wide. Heels point in, toes point out. We're gonna come down into a squat. So if your squat, doesn't come all the way to the ground, you can take the block and put it right underneath your butt and then get into it so that you're able to lengthen in the spine. And so from here, heart forward, palms touching, crown of the head reaches up, root reaches down. A Little bit of an opening in the hips, take another breath in. Exhale, take the hands down to the mat. Good, walk the hands back behind you. We're gonna come into a reverse tabletop. So hands underneath the shoulders, heel toe the feet back into center, lift the hips up, broaden across the chest, let the head fall back between the shoulders. Good, deep breath in here. Exhale, one more. Exhale, release the butt to the ground. Cross the ankles, flip forward, hands to the mat, step back, downward facing dog. Nice, and just pedal the feet for a second, shake the head, find a little bit of movement. Keep that heat building in the body, but also just keep fluids moving. Good, and then come up onto the tippy toes, bend the knees, look forward and step to the front of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the arms, drop the hips, coming into chair pose, sink the weight into the heels, shoulder heads pull back. So see if you can squeeze the scapula, the shoulder blades together, reach the heart forward, set the hips a little lower. Good, breathe. Deep breath in, exhale, straighten the legs, fold forward. Inhale up halfway, exhale, fold, plant the palms, step back, find a plank pose, lower down to the belly, cobra on the inhale, downward dog on the exhale. Nice, right leg rises, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot forward between the hands. Now we're gonna come into warrior one, so I'd like you to heel toe your right foot just over to the right side a little bit, and then spin the back foot down, lunge into that right leg and come up, hands to the hips. So this is really, the stance is like warrior one and a half, but that's healthy for your hips. All right, take the arms up overhead, fingers interlace, make that steeple, deep breath in. Good, exhale, release the hands, take them back behind you, interlace the fingers, pull down, lift up, heart forward, and then fold inside the right leg. 
So rather than leaning the chest onto the thigh, see if you can take it inside the thigh. Keep reaching those arms back up behind you. Let the head drop. Good, take a deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands, heel toe the foot back to center, set yourself up in a runner's lunge. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, step it forward. Same thing, opposite side. Widen your stance, drop the back foot down, come up and then lift arms up. Deep breath in. Exhale, float hands behind the back. Cross your hands in the, the weird way now. So whichever thumb was on top the first time, take it the other way. And then pull the fists down, send the heart forward. Deep breath in, look up. Exhale, bow into it. And I know that this is a, a tedious thing to remember to do, but if you can take your inhales and exhales through your nose and really get into the habit of breathing deeply through your nose in your physical practice, it will make things so much more comfortable. One more breath in. Exhale, take the hands down, heel toe the feet, take it back into that runner's lunge, and then step to the front of the mat. Halfway lift when you get there. Exhale, fold. Then the knees, drop the hips, lift arms up, chair pose, inhale. Good, exhale, sit a little lower. Deep breath in. Exhale, fold, straighten the legs. And just shake it out. So the big lesson here is it's not easy to open your heart, right? This, this sequence is significantly more challenging for me because of it, it requires a lot more strength and stability. But what I really learned is that metaphorically, it's just not that easy to be vulnerable. All right, inhale, come up to standing. Take the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. So let's do that one more time and we'll add something nice. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, bend the knees, fold forward. Set the hips down, lift up, chair pose, deep breath in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Take palms down, step back, find a plank. Inhale and plank. Down to the belly, exhale. Cobra on the inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, take left leg up this time. Exhale, step it forward and out. Spin the back foot down. Inhale up, warrior one. Good. Now, reach the arms up as you sink the hips down low. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands behind the back. Pull down, lift up. Inhale. Exhale, fold into it. Nice, now take a breath in. Exhale, release the hands. Turn the right toes forward and then look forward. If you have a block, set it in front of your left foot on the highest setting. If you don't have a block, bring your fingertips down in front of your left foot. You're gonna step off of your right foot to balance, then shift the hips open to the right. Hand onto a block or onto the ground. Roll the hips open right hand to right hip. So it's a half moon pose. Good. And now if this feels comfortable, you can take the right arm up. Now, if you're falling and stumbling all over the place, that's fine, it's all good. Just get up and try it again. Because if we bring it back into the realm of like comparing the yoga practice to life practice, you don't just like try something once and fall and then never get up and try it again, right? So just like keep, just keep swimming, whatever. Keep coming up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, roll it down. 
back into that runner's lunge. Good, step back, take a down dog, or take a child's pose. That also feels nice. Drop the hips down, drop the forehead down. Relax the shoulders a little bit. You can even take the hands back and set them on your lower back and just let the shoulders fall forward. Good, now slowly start to come up. Walk the hands back to the front of the mat. Use that traction to pull yourself back up into a tabletop and then tuck the toes downward facing dog. Find your alignment. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, bend the knees, step forward and out. Setting up for warrior one. Inhale to come up. Fingers are interlaced, pointer fingers reaching up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lift. Exhale, take the hands behind the back. Pull down to lift up, squeeze shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold into it. This is humble warrior. Think about the crown of the head as a magnet pulling down towards the floor, which is made of metal. So you're really lowering, lengthening, scissoring inner thighs together. And then slowly release the hands. Look forward, find a block or find your fingertips. Come off of the left foot, roll the hips open to the left, hand to the hip. Good, and then maybe that left arm rises. And I will show you guys something really cool after this round that you can practice at home should you ever feel interested in it that will improve this posture a lot take another breath in exhale slowly take it down good step back downward facing dog inhale forward onto the tippy toes look to the hands step or jump to the front of the mat halfway lift inhale Exhale, fold forward. Drop the hips down, bend the knees. Inhale, lift up, chair pose. Good. Now, take a deep breath in. Exhale, sit the hips down lower and lower and lower and come all the way down to your butt. Release the arms, reverse table. Fingers pointing towards the heels. Press into the feet, inhale, lift it up. Open the chest. Good, deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Cool. So just quickly, I'll show you. If you have a wall space, like, like I have here, and you'd like to practice this half moon pose, you can stand like I'm standing with my left side up against the wall and then bring the block down, maybe like an inch or two away from the wall. And then you can practice this pose leaning into the wall so that you're able to just understand what it feels like, but you have the support of the wall behind you so you don't ever fall backwards. And this is just really good for practicing that balance. And then you can come up and come to the other side and do the other side, okay? So this is just like in your own spare time. I know that we've all been challenged with boredom in the last year. So if it hits you and you're thinking of your friend Jade, you can just do this. Good for you. Good for your central nervous system and then come out of it. Okay, but for now, we're gonna come down to our butts and all the way onto our backs with the knees bent for some back bending. So now that we're a little bit warmer, take your heels, walk them back towards your fingertips. 
snuggle the shoulders in, broaden across the chest, take a big breath in, exhale, press into the feet, lift the hips up. Good, little bridge pose. You can take your hands over to the sides of your hips and just kind of help guide them up, or you can take the hands down by your sides. And bring your attention and your eyesight towards your rib cage as you inhale, see that big expansion and your belly puffs up and you open everything. And then as you exhale, watch it fall. Good, another deep breath in. Exhale, release it down. Windshield, wipe the knees right and left. Just realigning the spine. Okay, and let's take it back to center. We'll do a second round. This time, Make sure your heels are far back towards your fingertips. Snuggle the shoulders in, take a deep breath in. Exhale, press into the feet, lift up, and then see about taking the hands and connecting them, interlacing fingers and pulling the fist down. So the same thing that we were doing in that warrior one to humble warrior, just a little bit deeper in this bridge pose, keep pressing into the feet, lifting the hips up. A deep breath in, exhale, take it down. Windshield wipe the knees right and left. Good, now for a third round, and I'm gonna turn around so that you can see me from the other side. I'm gonna give you guys an option to try something new or do the same thing you just did. If you feel really safe in that position, then do the same thing. If you'd like to try something different, I'll demonstrate it once so you can see. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a wheel pose, but on the forearms. It's a little bit different than what you might have seen before. But what you'll basically do is take the hands down right behind the shoulders so that the fingers are actually pointing towards the feet. And then you'll just press and lift your hips and come on to the crown of the head. And then walk the forearms down so that you're standing on your forearms now instead of your shoulders and lifting the hips. Okay, so you guys have the option to try to come into this and I promise your head won't break off. And it feels amazing. But obviously, if bridge pose was serving you just fine without adding any extra flair, then by all means, stay in that. Good, and then when you wanna come out, just roll out, come onto your back, knees in towards the chest, rock from side to side. Good, and then from here, cross the ankles, lift the feet towards the sky, start to rock back and forth on the spine, lifting the hips, rolling forward. One more time, coming all the way onto your hands and knees into a tabletop. Good, moving back into that cat and cow breathing, inhale, lifting the heart, exhale, rounding the back, Inhale, lifting. Exhale, rounding. Good. And now walk the hands slightly forward, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. A little bit of a longer stance in your down dog. Nice, inhale, take the right leg up and back. 
bend the knee, stack the hip open. A little bit more body weight's gonna come into the left arm, that's okay. Just kind of lean into that left side. Maybe you circle out that right leg. Good, and then turn the hips to square. Bring that right leg forward. It's gonna be a half pigeon pose. So slide the left leg down. And then I know we've been here before in my classes. So if you have a lot of lift in the right side of your butt, set a block or a rolled up blanket or a pillow something that you have access to underneath so that you can sit up nice and tall. And if you have really open hips, by all means, you don't need the prop. You can, you can just sit normally. But if the right butt cheek is off of the mat or the right hip is off of the mat, you really wanna prop something under it so that you don't pull anything. And then start to lean forward. And if you have a second block, you can take it in between your hands and lower the forehead down to it. If you don't have a second block, you can interlace your fingers and rest your forehead on your hands, or you can stack your fist and rest your forehead down on the top fist. And now bring your attention back to your breath. Deep, long inhales through the nose. Deep, long exhales through the nose. And use this as that opportunity, like I said about downward facing dog, to just let go of everything that happened in the practice so far. It's this, yoga has this really beautiful undertone of of like practicing attachment, but rather non-attachment. So it's this thing of trying something, doing it to some degree without judgment, and then forgetting about it so that you can be present for the next thing that you're doing. So the, the lesson here is that if you're thinking about what you did incorrectly, or inadequately before, you're not truly living in the pose that you're in now. Good, now slowly release, begin to lift up. We're gonna walk the hands back to frame the bent right leg and just lean back, lift your heart up. Little bend in the elbows here, good. And now release that, press back, and you'll just come onto your right foot. You'll kind of have to shimmy it in, back into a little, a little low lunge with the left knee down. Yeah, so that's just like a, there's not really a graceful way to get there. And then take your left hand down to the ground or onto a block, bend the right knee and see if you can just catch your right foot or sorry, your left foot with your right hand. So you should feel this in your left quadricep. It's a little quad stretch. Good, take another deep breath in. Exhale, release it. And then set the blocks out of the way if you have them, lift up onto that back foot, plant the palms down, step back and find downward facing dog. So reset, realign. Full breath in, full breath out. Good, and then inhale, lift the left leg up and back. Bend the knee, stack the hip open. And like I said before, you'll lean into your right side just a little bit, but just go with it and maybe circle out that left leg. Good, and then when you're ready, square the hips off, bring the left shin down towards the mat. I'll tell you something else about this pose while you get set up. So don't forget, if you need that block under the left hip, take it now, or a rolled up t-shirt or something to support your left hip. 
but I want you to notice something. I have really open hips. So my left shin is almost parallel to the front edge of my mat. In fact, it could be, right? But this is, I'm a freak of nature. So you might, you might try this and then notice that it feels incredibly uncomfortable. What I would advise is that you tuck that left leg in like a little chicken wing. So then your heel, your left heel is actually closer to your groin or to the crease of your right hip, okay? And then that's gonna make this a little more comfortable and maybe even a little more accessible. And then walk the hands back, lift the heart up, inhale, exhale, start to come forward. And again, down to stacked fist, a block, a shoe, a dog if you have one there, whatever and just rest here for about five breaths. And slowly start to come out, lengthening through the arms. Once again, big chest opener, little back bend. And then find a way into that low lunge with the left leg forward. And the right knee down. Plant the right palm either on the floor or on a block at any height that works well. So if you're having a hard time reaching your ankle and you have a block, set it up on the higher setting so that you become a little bit taller. And then bend the right knee, turn around, see if you can catch the right foot with the left hand. And the closer you pull your foot to your butt, the deeper you're gonna stretch your quad. Good, take a deep breath in. Exhale, release it down. Set the blocks out of the way. Slide back, we'll take that one more downward facing dog just to reset. Think about unlocking the shoulders here, dipping the heart down towards the thighs, stretching the thighs back towards the wall behind you, heels down, hips lift. Good. And then from here, walk forward, come all the way down to the knees, and then you'll come all the way down to the belly. Take your right arm, extend it out to the right side. The left hand is going to be underneath the left shoulder. Bend your left knee, and then with your left hand, you're just going to press and roll over that extended right arm and step your left foot over your right leg if you can. And then from here, you can let the head come down to the ground or take a block and rest the head on the block. So just a little anterior shoulder opener. Now, if this feels good to you and you wanna add a little something extra, if you wanna sprinkle a little salt on it, you can take the left arm and reach it up and just kind of let it flop open. Good, and slowly take that down, release and roll back to center. Good. Set yourself up for the other side. So right hand is going to come under right shoulder. Left arm extends out to the side. Right knee bends. And then step over the left leg. 
and over their left shoulder. And maybe the right arm comes up and opens out to the side. And slowly release it. Take it all the way back down to the belly. And then very serious yoga pose. Come on to the elbows. Chin rests in the hands, knees bend, and you just rock the legs from right to left. This is teenager watching television pose. That's what my yoga teacher in India called it. This isn't really a yoga pose, but it what it does is it realigns the lumbar spine and the thoracic spine after a lot of back bending and twisting. All right, and then tuck the toes, take the hands under, press up onto the knees, and then we'll come forward into a seat with the legs extended out. And if you have a block, I love to take it underneath my butt about halfway. So don't sit on it, but rather just put a little bit of your butt on it so that, so that it's hanging forward, your pelvis tilts forward and then extend the legs long. So it's just gonna help you hinge a little bit more. It, by elevating the hips, you're able to hinge forward a little bit more. Dig the heels into the ground. Inhale, lift the arms up, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. So it doesn't matter what your hands come to, but can you just round and fold and let the head go? You might have to shake it a couple of times to let it really go. We have this tendency to hold this guy up all day. So just let it rock forward. And with every exhale coming down a little bit deeper into that fold. Continuing to let the head drop, shoulders drop. And then very softly and gently start to roll back up. Coming all the way back up to a seat. If you're on a block, slide over to the side and release it. And then you'll come all the way down onto your back and into happy baby. So knees pull into the chest, feet and hands connect. Let the hips just fall open. And then to bring that awareness back into heart opening and chest opening, pull the shoulders down and think about pushing the heart forward. Think about leveling the tailbone down. Good. Now start to bring the feet in towards each other. Soles of the feet start to touch. You can either take the two piece fingers and wrap them around the big toes, 
or take hold of your ankles and just pull the feet in. Butterfly the legs, open up the knees a little bit wider, keep pulling the feet in towards the groin. This is just a reclined butterfly pose. And if you need any final stretches here, go ahead and take it. If you need to be upside down for a moment, you can just take the legs and stretch them up towards the sky, lift your butt, walk the hands to your lower back and just stretch the legs up. So this will just reverse the blood flow and kind of help energize you. But if you need to continue with whatever you were doing or a happy baby or anything that's gonna kind of help prepare you to come all the way down and then we'll start to roll the body all the way down to the ground. And release the legs down. Take the arms out by your sides. Take a big breath in. Open the mouth, exhale it out. Good, do it again. Inhale. And exhale. Once more, deep breath in. And as you exhale, close the eyes if you haven't already. And come into that full space of stillness with the body. Let the feet relax as they fall open. Let the legs and arms become heavy. Let the space around the eyes, the mouth, and the jaw start to relax. And allow the space around the heart to open up towards the ceiling, towards the sky, as the shoulders melt down into your mat, into the floor. And continue to let this wave of relaxation flow over the body from head to toe. Allow your body to breathe for you as you effortlessly feel the chest rising on the inhale. And falling on the exhale. Take your awareness into the space slightly above and between the eyes, into your third eye, the center of your intuition. And then bring your awareness into your throat region, your chakra of truth. Follow your awareness down into the heart space. Center of giving and receiving.
and continue following that line, that channel down into the center of your core, your solar plexus, center of willpower and drive. Tracing down the body around to the back, to the sacrum, the small of the back, center of fluidity and creativity, sensuality. And then following that trail down to the root, center of grounding, belonging, and home. Take a deep breath in as you feel the chest rise. Stretch the arms up and back behind you. Lengthen out through the body. Hold the inhale at the top as you stretch the fingers back behind and the toes forward. And then as you exhale, pull everything in towards the center, wrap the arms around the legs, hug it all in. Good, and then from here, start to rock onto one side. Resting for a moment in the fetal position, keeping the eyes closed or just softly open. Allow, that, allow the eyes to adjust to the light slowly. So rather than just catapulting yourself back into the real world, give yourself that time and grace to slowly come back into its natural setting, into the space that you're really in. And as you do that, start to press yourself back up to a seat, just resting with the legs crossed. Good, and then from here, interlace the fingers in front of the chest. Push the palms down as you lift them up. Relax the shoulders down the back. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale. Let it go. We'll do that one more time. Flip the palms. Take it all the way up. Lengthen. And exhale. Let it go. Bring hands in towards the heart. Rub the palms together. Create that warm energy with the hands. And then place the hands over the face. Just creating a little shield of darkness, a little warmth over the face. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, release the hands and open the eyes into the palms. Thank you guys so much. Namaste. Thanks everybody. That was awesome. Hope you enjoyed it. Great, thanks. I'm gonna hit the record button now. I feel like, uh, okay, there we go. Is recording.